Day night out can get really expensive really quickly. So today I'm gonna show you a fun and easy way to have date night in, still making it special, but not having to do a lot of work in the kitchen to prep for it. Hey y'all, I'm Mandy, and this is Mandy in the Making. Steven and I love to go on date night, and now that Cole is a lot older and we don't need a babysitter anymore, it's really nice to be able to just pick up and go out. But sometimes you wanna have that special night in. So today I'm gonna to show you a new way to make steaks. It's a new way for us. Maybe you're already making steaks this way, but you'll see. So we're gonna have steaks, potatoes, and you may have seen me make potatoes this way, but we're gonna make it again. We're gonna have a salad, but I'm also going to make a two ingredient dessert that I know Steven is gonna love. He's not big on desserts, but he'll really love this one. So let's get started. We're gonna make dessert first so that they can cool while I'm making dinner and they'll be ready for after dinner. And you only need two ingredients. You need an angel food cake mix. I could not find one at my local grocery store, so we're gonna go with just this white cake mix and strawberry pie filling. That's it, just these two ingredients. We're gonna make a really yummy and simple dessert. So let's preheat the oven to 350. And now I've got this muffin tin and I'm just gonna place these little liners down in there they never want to stay in there until I actually put the stuff in the liners. And these are all kind of, they got crushed in the pantry, but they'll be okay. And now we're just going to dump our cake mix in here, as well as our strawberry pie filling. Now let's just stir this together. And that, my friends, is as easy as it gets. I would like to thank Thrive Market for sponsoring this portion of today's video. We have been members of Thrive Market for a couple of years now, and we really love this online grocery store. So basically, it is a membership-based grocery store on a mission to make healthy living affordable and easy for everyone. So you can choose to just do month-to-month -month membership, or you can do like we do and do it for a year at a time. If you choose to do a yearly membership, you're billed annually at $59.95, so that makes it about $5 a month. And if you choose month-to-month, -month, each month it is $12 and you can cancel at any time. If you are concerned about particular products and you want to eat healthier and have more organic options than you're finding in your local grocery store, Thrive Market is exactly what you need. So you get to go to the grocery store in your PJs in your living room and browse all of the aisles and figure out exactly what you wanna try. You can read reviews of all the different products. If you have a particular lifestyle that you are following, if you're keto, or if you're vegan, if you need gluten-free options, you can check those little boxes and it will show you all of the products that meet your criteria. So each time you place an order, there's pretty much guaranteed savings. So let's say that you purchase the year-long subscription for $59.95, and at the end of that year, you have not saved at least $60, they are gonna credit you back the difference. That's how much they know that you're gonna be making a lot of savings throughout the year. On this order alone that I'm gonna show you, I saved $25.59. So I'm gonna show you a few of the things that I've gotten from Thrive recently. There are some things that I like to get over and over again, like some pantry staples. I've had these multiple times and I love them. And then I like to watch other YouTubers and other people who also get Thrive Market and hear them talk about the different products that they get and love. And then I'm like, ooh, okay, let me go add that to my order. So I'll just go add that to my cart until I'm ready to check out. The trick is you wanna fill up your cart and then once you hit that $49 threshold, your order is going to ship for free with carbon neutral shipping from their zero waste warehouses. Another reason why I really love the yearly membership is that for each yearly membership that is purchased, Thrive Market then gifts a yearly membership to a low income family, um, a family with veterans, teachers, nurses. So I think that's really cool that they are also looking out for those who look out for us. You can order your food there, but you can also order things other than just food. So they have eco-friendly cleaning supplies, non-toxic beauty items. You can get supplements, personal care items, all kinds of things. So just go take a look at their website and see what all they offer. This is something I'm very excited to try. I'm gonna start putting this in my coffee each day. I know it's really good for your joints, your hair, skin, and nails too, so I can't wait to give this a try. An item that is new to me, I ordered two boxes of this. I got this because another YouTuber talked about it and it talked about how delicious it is. I really like instant oatmeal and a little bit better of an option would be this brand. This is the Nature's Path Organic Instant Oatmeal and it's the apple cinnamon. 
It is delicious and super filling. I've already opened the second box. So two boxes, pretend there's two boxes here. I've already opened it and it's in my pantry. Something else that I think is really cool is sometimes when I'm checking out, it'll say, hey, choose from one of these free items with your order. So this time I chose this because it is cold and flu season. So I thought that was pretty neat that they offered that as a little freebie with my order. Speaking of freebies, let me tell you about what you're gonna get if you use my link. So if you just go to thrivemarket.com slash Mandy in the making, you are gonna get 30% off of your first order. So you're already getting savings, but you're gonna get an additional 30% off your first order. Plus you're gonna get a free gift worth up to $60. I just had someone email me the other day. She used my, my link and she got her order in and she said she was stunned at the $60 free gift. She was really blown away. So go check them out. Use the link thrivemarket.com slash Mandy in the making and let me know if you decide to get some really great goodies that you fall in love with that I should be getting. Tell me so I can put it on my next order. So we're gonna fill each of these about three quarters of the way full. And look what I did. That's, that's good, Mandy. It's real good. Y'all, oh my gosh. <laughs> it's just how I roll, y'all. Nothing can be easy, especially when baking with Mandy. This is, this is about to be, about to be? It is a disaster. Yep. So y'all just tune in to watch me mess up because that's just a running theme around here. Watch Mandy act like she knows what she's doing in the kitchen, but not really. You know, I shock myself at how bad I am at things. <laughs> Girl, come on, man. Come on. Oh God, here comes Steven too. What are you doing in here? Nothing, go away. Look at that. I'm making a dessert for you. All right, let me see where the cream cheese is. There's no cream cheese. <laughs> oh, speaking of, we got. Do you have your shirt on? I got my oh, shirt. Okay, on. hang on. Oh god. See, I can't. I'll be right back. <laughs> Spread cream cheese. It's my new uniform. Not hate. A sweet subscriber had that made. I know. Thank you so much for sending that. Y'all are so thoughtful and so creative too. Yes. Really, you are. All right, so I'm going to continue to fill these really badly and have Steven, Steven stand over here and laugh at me. <laughs> no pressure. No, no pressure. it's fine. I mean, I'm putting it out on the internet for other people to laugh at me too, so. No, I can't do no better. Okay, fix that, Quick, oh, oh. quickly. <laughs> we'll be back, just, just wait. <laughs> you know what I just thought of? If I would have sprayed these liners with nonstick spray, these muffin cup thingies, liners, no. If I would have sprayed the muffin tin with nonstick spray, before putting the liners in, I bet the liners would have stuck to it and I wouldn't be having this disaster of an issue that I'm having. I finally figured it out. See, we got them all in there. These are going in a 350 degree oven for 19 to 22 minutes or until they're done. Now that our dessert is in the oven, I just took these steaks out of the fridge. We're gonna let them come to room temperature-ish. We're just gonna let them sit out here for a good 15 minutes before we throw them in the air fryer. You never want to put cold steaks on a grill or in an air fryer or anything like that. You want to let them kind of warm up just a tad. Now let's get to work on cutting up these potatoes. We're going to do Mandy's taters tonight. If you're new here, you just need some red potatoes, some butter, and a pack of onion soup mix. I'm going to share with you just a few tips on how to make date night at home special without having to go over the top. First of all, if you have any special china or plates that you only use if company is coming, use that. This plate right here, this is the china from when we got married. Stephen and I picked out this china. This is the Linux Spring Vista. We have never used it. We've been married for going on 23 years. We've never used it. I'm actually getting rid of most of our china, but I decided to keep the plates. I don't know, I guess I had it in my mind that these were definitely not dishwasher safe and they were kind of fussy, but they're not, they're dishwasher safe, it says it on here. So we're gonna use these. We're gonna finally use our china for the very first time tonight on date night. Also, you can always bring in candles. For me, that's usually the battery operated candles, but that can definitely set the mood to be a little more romantic if you have a lot of candlelight around. If you have a fireplace, 
get a fire going. So what I love to do is to play a, an Amazon music playlist that I have created that has some of my favorite love songs on there. I like for that to be playing in the background. If you don't have Spotify or Amazon music or a service like that, another great tip would be to just pull up YouTube and search for date night music. I'm gonna link a couple of videos that has great music that sets kind of a romantic tone for the evening that you could play in the background. You don't have to worry about getting a music service. YouTube is free and just have that playing in the background and that really just kind of just sets the mood for it to be date night. And probably my biggest tip is make it very easy on yourself in the kitchen for date night. The last thing you wanna do is spend hours in there cooking and be tired from that and frustrated from that and then sit down and try to have date night. Make it easy. That's why I'm doing air fryer steaks. I'm doing my famous Mandy's taters um, and we're doing a salad. That is, this whole meal is gonna take about 20 minutes. It's not hard at all, but it's definitely a little more special than what I would make on a normal night. Okay, for Mandy's taters, it is so, so simple. You can always peel your potatoes if you want to, but that's why I get these red ones because I don't mind the skins on these. Just cut them into bite-sized pieces. I'm gonna throw all of these potatoes here in this bowl. Take some olive oil, maybe a tablespoon or two, and toss these in there. You just want them to get coated so that the onion soup mix will stick to it. All right, one of these packs of onion soup mix. Just toss that around. And that's pretty much it. We're gonna go over to a skillet with a little bit of butter and cook these for 10 to 15 minutes and they'll be ready. Okay, to season our steaks, we're just gonna keep it very simple. They've been sitting out for a while now. We're gonna drizzle it with it, just a little bit of oil. I've got this roasted garlic extra virgin olive oil that a subscriber sent me. We're gonna put that on there as well as this steak rub. We've already used this one time from Thrive Market and we really do like it. Man, that looks good. Let's do the same thing to the other side. Y'all are gonna have to tell me, have you ever done steaks in the air fryer? I'm a little skeptical. I'm really hoping this turns out great. Okay, these just came out of the oven. They smell really great. I did the toothpick test and they seem to be fine. Now the notes did say that it's probably gonna sink in the middle and that's totally fine. I've got some cool whip, we'll cover that up so it doesn't look so weird <laughs> when, we're when it's time to eat, but we're gonna let these hang out. Ma'am. Yeah, there's no cheese. How dare we? Trying to manage my time as best as I can. I've got this preheating to medium high and now I need to preheat my air fryer. We're gonna preheat it to 400. So I'm gonna throw a couple of tablespoons, that's probably a tablespoon and a half of butter in and let that melt. And now let's just throw in our potatoes. And these are just gonna hang out on medium high for 10 to 15 minutes until they're tender. You just wanna come over here and stir them every so often. These are delicious and they are the perfect side dish with steak. Okay, our air fryer is done preheating. And now we're gonna put our ribeyes in there. That's what you wanna hear. Yeah. Okay. These are gonna go in the air fryer at 400. We're gonna do them for 10 minutes and we'll check them. We'll see how it goes. To make it really easy on myself, I just got us a bagged salad for tonight. We're trying out this Greek Caesar. It has feta. This is all the feta this thing included. We got more feta in the in the refrigerator. More feta is better. More feta is more better. Okay, our timer just went off. It's been 10 minutes. Ooh. Steven's got this little meat thermometer. Oh, we did them a little too long for our liking. They're more like well done, but the good news is they're ribeye, which means they're still gonna be really juicy. So oh, yeah. if you do a thicker steak, it probably would be better, but so filet mignon might have worked well at that time, but this is more like medium well, which is totally fine. These look delicious, let's eat. I didn't dress for date night. Look, you're dressed for date night and I'm like sweating from being in the kitchen. 
just how we roll. Um, let's say a blessing real quick. Yeah. Father, we thank you so much for this day. Thank you, Lord, for this food that you've blessed us with. Thank you for your grace towards us. Thank you, Lord, for how faithful you have been towards us. And we give thanks in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. It's time to eat, y'all. I'm ready. Let's trim a little of this up here. Yeah. Ribeye is always, you know, it's got okay. a lot of fat on it. Yeah, but this has got is it a little okay? pink in there. It's okay, like a good. medium well. Okay. Yeah. Oh, same. Same. Yeah, it's like a medium well. That's good. We're more of the medium kind of folks. Mm -hmm. Medium, medium, medium rare. Medium to medium rare, yeah. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> that is amazing. I did not think that was going to happen. Air fryer steaks. Air fryer steaks. It cuts real nice. Got a great texture. You know, like when mm -hmm. you cut into it, you can tell it's going to be very juicy and tender. Yes. I love that steak seasoning. You got, is that the Montreal steak seasoning? Mm -mm. It's from Thrive Market. Oh. Mm -hmm. Tell me about that. That's We've it. used it once before. Okay. But, or I've used it once It's very before. similar to some of the other steak seasons we've had in the past. Mm -hmm. It's very, very good. It's got that, you know, salty pepper, that perfect blend of salt, pepper, garlic seasonings in there. Oh, yeah. And these potatoes are mm. cooked to perfection. This is perfect date night food. Mm -hmm. And on our china. Yeah. So I didn't want to register for china back in 2000 when we were getting married. But my mom said, you got to register for china. So I did, and we got a lot of it as our wedding gift. And it's just been sitting for 20, almost 23 years. So I'm excited to finally use it. I mean, how many times have we used it? Never. I had to wash the stickers. It still had the price tag stickers on the back of it. There's a first time for everything. <laughs> It's you know. time for dessert. Yeah. We're excited. I am excited. These came out of the little muffin liners really easily. Uh-oh, we got to cheers it. Tink. <laughs> it's his favorite. Love strawberry shortcake type of stuff. This is very similar to that. I mean, mm -hmm. gray strawberry flavor. It's not dry. Mm -hmm. It's very... Mm, Nice touch with the cream or the whipped cream. It's whipped cream. Whip, whipped topping. Oh, it's cool whip. We ain't fancy. <laughs> <laughs> it's cool whip. <laughs> I mean, it's just cool whip. Very light, very simple. Perfect portion size too. So, mm -hmm. so we thought we would tell y'all a little fun date night story from our past. We just sat here and we thought about it and thought about it. And this one involves Stephen's dad because it was a double date. If you're new here, Stephen's dad passed away two years ago. Um, we miss him dearly and he left us with so many memories to laugh at. <laughs> we laugh at his expense all the time. <laughs> yeah. We did when he was here and it's still great to have those memories. And this particular one, we went on a double date with him and his wife. We went to, where were we at? Were we at TGI Fridays? TGI Fridays. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure we were at sure TGI were. Fridays. This was back before we got married. This was in probably 1999. Now you have to understand something about his daddy. His daddy was a messy eater, like a lot of men are. Very messy. Very messy. And he had ordered some, some type of like fajitas <laughs> or something with tortillas yeah. and a lot of sauce and seasonings. And yeah. it, was, it was a messy meal that he had. And he was a talker too, but when it came to eating, it was no talk, just Time eat. Time to eat, right. We were all finishing up. He had um, a cloth napkin that he had been using throughout the entire thing. It was a messy meal. Well, when he was done, he threw his cloth napkin into his plate. And we all just sit there and continue to talk. Now, if it was 1999, I was 18, and I was not yet comfortable with his dad. <laughs> So I didn't say a word when this started to happen, okay? I just sat there <laughs> mortified that this was happening. But, you know, if it had been today, I'd have just called him out on it. But I just sat there like the polite little Southern girl that I was uh -huh. and just watched him make a fool of himself, basically. 
His wife was telling a story. We were listening to her. We were engaging with her. And while she's talking, I look at Steve, his dad, and he's trying to cut up I something. mean, he is just bearing down, just, <clears throat> just using his fork to try to cut. Fork and his knife. He yeah. grabbed his knife, yeah. too. I mean, he was having a time with this thing. Well, it turns out he was trying to cut the dirty, nasty napkin that he had been using. He thought that was still part of his meal. He thought it was a tortilla. <laughs> I was like, what in the world is going on here? So it his was... wife was just talking and I was like, mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. <laughs> Like, I could not believe what I was watching. And finally he gave up and he said, that's a napkin. <laughs> we all just laughed and he just, he was finally able to somehow stab this cloth napkin yeah. and get he it stabbed. on his fork. <laughs> and he pulled it up and he inspected it and he said, that's a napkin. <laughs> oh my gosh. And me being oh. the little polite thing that I was, was like, oh. oh it was hilarious to see that happen. <laughs> We still laugh about that to this day. It was way before camera phones and yeah, social media, and social all media that. and all that. Yeah, you know. too bad because that would have been a good uh, that would have been a good reel or Instagram Man. story. <laughs> that been something else. <laughs> it was so good, but he, he was a walking Instagram. That's for sure. <laughs> he was a walking um, viral Instagram yeah. reel. <laughs> That's exactly right. He really was, y'all. To know him was to love him, and just to just laugh all yeah. the time so we miss him a lot and we think about that story a lot we laugh um anytime we're out at a restaurant if steven is finished with his nap and he puts it on his plate i always tease him like don't try to eat that <laughs> <laughs> just an eye <laughs> stay out mm -mm, don't act a fool <laughs> don't act a fool Okay, okay, don't act a fool, don't act a fool, don't. Like, go against the norm, okay? I'll try. And be chill. I'll be chill. Okay, great, thank you. Don't forget to go check out Thrive Market. You can use the link thrivemarket.com slash Mandy in the making. And with your first order, you're going to save 30%, plus you're going to get a free gift worth up to $60. Thanks, y'all, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>